Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to study exercise 4.2. But before that, we will study the introduction of that. In that, we have to find the roots of the x means the value of x of that quadratic equation by the factorization method. Factorization method is suppose we have given a quadratic equation, we have to split the middle term into two terms, and the split term should be the First, first coefficient and constant multiple six, and then the factors of six, two, and three are the terms of quadratic equation split it second term. We have to take the common x minus one and x minus one from both of this term pairs. In the end, we will get x is equal to one and x is equal to three by two. We will get two answers of x. Moving to exercise four point two, question one. Find the roots of the following equations by factorization. In that question, question number one, x square minus three x minus ten is equal to zero. We have to split the middle term three x. For that, we have to multiply the coefficient of first term and the constant one into ten, and we have to find the factors, multiples of ten, which are two point five. So here, four term equation will be x square plus two x minus five x minus ten plus two x minus five x is equal to minus three x. Then only it will be the correct. Simplifying it by taking common by making the pair. Of two two terms and finding the x roots of x, which are minus two and five. In question number two, we are given two x square plus x minus six is equal to zero. For that, we have to follow the same method. Two into six is equal to twelve, and the factors are two into two into three, which is equal to three into four. 2x square plus 4x minus 3x minus 6 is equal to 0. And by making pair, again making pair and making common, we will get the roots of x is minus 2 and 3 by 2. In question number 3, root 2x square plus 7x plus 5 root 2 is equal to 0. Similarly, root 2 into 5 root 2. Root 2 into root 2 is equal to 2. So 5 into 2 which is equal to 10 and the factors of 10 are 2 and 5. So the 4 term quadratic equation will be root 2x square plus 2x plus 5x plus 5 root 2 is equal to 0. And again making pair and making common out we will get their roots as minus root 2 and minus 5 upon root 2. Question number 4. 2x square minus x plus 1 upon 8 is equal to 0. First we will have to remove the 8 from the denominator. For that we will multiply both the sides by 8. We will get the answer 16x square minus 8x plus 1 is equal to 0. When 8 is multiplied by 0, the answer will remain 0 itself. For the factorization, we will follow the same method. 16 into 1 is equal to 16 and their multiples are 2 into 2 into 2 into 2, 4 times 2. Which is equal to 4 into 4. So the 4 term quadratic equation, we will get 16x square minus 4x minus 4x plus 1 is equal to 0. And by taking, making pair and making common, we will get the roots as 1 upon 4 and 1 upon 4. Here the both root will be similar. And first we have to take the very attention to the signs we have used for the quadratic equation. By using the signs we must assure that it makes the second term itself by simplifying these two terms. Number 5, 100x square minus 20x plus 1. So we will move to the same method. Similar method, 100 into 100. And the multiples of it are 2 into 2 into 5 into 5. Which is also equal to 10 into 10. By stating the term minus 20x, minus 10x, minus 10x. 
you will get the 4 term quadratic equation 100x square minus 10x minus 10x plus 1 is equal to 0. By making pair and taking out common, you will get the roots, the x value is equal to 1 upon 10 and 1 upon 10. Here both the values of x are same. In question number 2, we are told to solve the example number 1. In example number 1, in number 1, section number 1, we are given John and Jivanti together have 45 marbles. Both of them lost 5 marbles each. And the product of the number of marbles they have now is 124. We would like to find out how many marbles they had to start with. So we suppose that John has X marbles, then Jivanti has 45 minus X marbles. We are given total 45 marbles. Both lose this 5 marbles each and their product is 124. After losing 5 marbles, John has X minus 5 marbles and Jivanti has 40 minus X marbles. By multiplying both of them, X minus 5 into 40 minus X, the product we are given is 124. We will get the term X square minus 45X plus 324 is equals to 0. Now we have to split the middle term to find the value of x or root of x. Middle term is minus 45x. We have to follow the factorization method for that. The coefficient of first term and the constant we have to multiply. 1 into 324 is equal to 324. And then multiples which are 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. And which is also equal to 39, 36 into 9. 4 term quadratic equation we will get x square minus 36x minus 9x plus 324 is equal to 0. By pairing that and taking common out we will get the answer 9 and 36. So here we can say that if John has 9 marbles then Jivanti has 36 marbles. And if John has 36 marbles then Jivanti has 9 marbles. Here there are 2 possibilities of answer. Number 2 in question number 2. We are given a cottage industry produces a certain number of toys in a day. The cost of production of each toy in rupees was to be found 55 minus the number of toys produced in a day. On a particular day the total cost of production was rupees 750. We would like to find out the number of toys produced on that day. For that we suppose the number of toys produced in a day is equal to x. The cost of production of each toy is equal to 55 minus x. Total cost of production is equal to 750 which is given. Cost of production is equal to number of toys produced in a day into cost of production of each toy which is 750 is equal to x into 55 minus x. By equating this we get the equation x square minus 55 x plus 750 is equal to 0. By doing the factorization method 1 into 750 which is equal to 750 and their factors 2 into 3 into 5 into 5 into 5 which is also equal to 30 into 25. The 4 term quadratic equation we get is x square minus 30x minus 25x plus 750 is equal to 0. By making pairs and leaving out common we get the answer x is equal to 30 and x is equal to 25. Suppose the toys produced in a day is equal to 30 then the total cost of production of each toy is 25 rupees and if the toys produced in a day is 25 then the cost of production of each toy is equal to 30 rupees. Question number 3. Find two numbers whose sum is 27 and product is 182. Suppose one number is x and another number is equal to 27 minus x as their sum is given is equal to 27 and their product is equal to 182. By multiplying both of them, x into 27 minus x is equal to 182. Equating this, we get the quadratic equation x square minus 27x plus 182 is equal to 0. By using factorization method, we will find the roots. 
the answer of x and the multiples of 182 are 2, 7 and 13 which is also equals to 14 and 13. The fourth term quadratic equation we get is x square minus 14x minus 13x plus 182 is equals to 0. By pairing them and taking common from that we get the roots of x as 14 and 13. So if one number is 14 then the other will be Then the another number will be 13. And if one number is 13, then the another will be 14. In question number 4, we are given that we have to find two consecutive positive integers, sum of, sum of whose squares is 365. Suppose one positive, consecutive positive number is x and the another is x plus 1. Sum of squares of this integers is 365 x square plus x plus 1 whole square is equals to 365. x square plus x square plus 2x plus 1 by using the identity a plus b whole square is equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square equals to 365. 2x square 2x minus 364 is equals to 0. By taking out 2 common, we get x square minus x minus 182 is equals to 0. By splitting the middle term, by using the factorization method, the multiples of 182 are 2, 7 and 13, same as question number 3, which is also equals to 14 and 13. The 4 term quadratic equation here we get is x square plus 14x minus 13x minus 182 is equals to 0. By pairing them together and separate common taking common from them we get the answer and the roots of x as minus 14 and 13 so if the first was the consecutive positive integers is minus 14 then the another will be minus 13 and if the first consecutive positive integer is 13 then this another will be 14 in number 5 we are given the question as the attitude of a right angle triangle is 7 cm less than its base. If the hypotenuse is 13 cm, find the other two sides. We suppose the base of right angle triangle as x, then its attitude is equal to x minus 7 and hypotenuse is equal to 13 cm. By the Pythagoras theorem, attitude square plus base square is equal to hypotenuse square. x square plus x minus 7 whole square is equal to 13 square. x square plus x square minus 14x plus 49 is equal to 169. By equating it, we get 2x square minus 14x minus 120 is equal to 0. By taking out 2 as common, x square minus 7x minus 60 is equal to 0 is a quadratic equation we have found. By split, for splitting the 7x, we have to find the multiples of 60 and they are 2 into 2 into 3 into 5, which is also equal to 12 into 5. The four term quadratic equation is x square minus 12x plus 5x minus 60 is equal to 0. By making pairs and taking out common from that, we get the root, the answer of x is equal to 12 and minus 5. But the base or any length or side of a triangle, negative is not possible. So minus 5 is not possible here. So the base of the right angle triangle is 12 and its altitude is 5 cm. Moving to question number 6. A cottage industry produces a certain number of pottery articles in a day. It was observed on a particular day that the cost of production of each article was 3 more than twice the number of articles produced on that day. If the total cost of production on that day was rupees 90, find the number of articles produced and the cost of each article. For that, we suppose that the cottage industry produces X number of pottery articles in a day. Then cost of production of each article is equal to 2X plus 3. Cost of production is equal to rupees 90. Then the X into 2X plus 3 is equal to 90. By equating this, we get 2X square plus 3X minus 90 is equal to 0. Using factorization method, 2 into 90 is 
90 is equals to 180 and then factors multiples of 180 are 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 which is also equals to 12 into 15. So the four term quadratic equation is 2x square minus 12x plus 15x minus 90 is equals to 0. By making pair and taking out common from that we get the answer. x is equals to minus 15 upon 2 which is not possible because the production or price of uh, any particular object cannot be negative. So the answer is 6. The cottage industry produces 6 pottery articles in a day and the cost of production of each article is 15 rupees. Here we have completed our exercise 4.2.